today the finale of this three game weekend series between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak and, uh, and guys the Red Sox played well in the series so far winning the first two in this three game set. Yeah and to sweep this team right here would be a huge momentum boost. It is not easy to sweep a series. I don't care if it's three games or four games. I think back to Bobby Cox his big thing was you just want to win series two out of three three out of four. But when you have a chance to sweep a team you have to take advantage of it. Keegan Aiken gets the ball in game. So now here is Jorge Mateo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Orioles, the designated hitter, Jorge Mateo. Pitch on the way. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They come in off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Hit a corner right and it's there. Straight away. Up. Here comes another 0 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Second. Into the box second now, baseman. Ramon Urias. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Hey, one down now, one down. And the pitch. Yeah! Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corner. He is, D. Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Batting third, the center fielder, number 31. It has to stay ahead. At the plate, Cedric Mullins. As he Aye. takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Winging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball and that's how the inning comes to an end. One two three go the Orioles and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Ready to go for the last half of the Leading inning. Off. And up Four next is Heston Kerstad. The right fielder. Heston. Kerstad. First offering. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. Well today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep guys. Sure does and it's always difficult to sweep and win a series on the road especially when you're playing a division opponent. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Batting fifth, the catcher, Adley. Adley Rutschman digging in now as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike and we'll see if he can at least put the ball in play something the first four men have been unable to do. Where's the first here. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Ball. That's over but low it's a ball and a strike. One and one. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just He's flip out. this on to first for the second out of the inning. Two down, no one on base. And that'll that bring in it. Jeff McNeil. No left fielder. Number six. Hey, plays it first, plays it first. Now here's the first offering. As he can't catch up on a fastball with the letters and it's strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Hey, we got two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Three. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. We'll move to the third with no score. Now at the plate here is Matt Adams and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. in the overshift here now the pitch swing and a little tapper Adams bats left but throws right and stands in at six foot three he's currently on a one year deal so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season you know Matty I know he's in the final year of his contract but he's playing to expectations to be honest with you I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit though as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. A ball and two strikes now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already and there's one gone in the inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Batting it, the third baseman, Yelvin Gutierrez. One down, one down. In now Kelvin Gutierrez as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one he comes in after a day of rest yesterday so we'll see if it did him any good. Hey come on now.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's thrown. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Batting up. Not shortstop. Bobby. Which Hey, now we've got two. That'll bring in Bobby Witt Jr. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Plays it first now. The wind up and the 0 1. It's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ballgame. Ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Striding forward, the designated hitter, Jorge Mateo. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Here's the 0-1. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time, and that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Now back, second baseman, Romo. Hey. Stepping in now, Ramon Urias. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. Struck down, out in his down. first at bat. Now the 0 1. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over, it's 0 and 2. 
sometimes you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Ramon Urias becomes out number two this inning. The bat, number 31. Into the box, Cedric Mullins. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. That evens it up one and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Hey, give yourself right here. Let's go, baby. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Leading off for the Orioles, the right fielder, Hester. Hester. Now the pitch. Heston Kerstad is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Hey, we got nobody, no one down here. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Grounder down the line at third. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. So now to the plate, Adley Rutschman. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's one and two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Now that. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. And here's a ball hit in the air. In comes Judge. And foul. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Now here it comes. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. Five innings complete. The Red Sox on top, three to nothing. Here's Matt Adams now. Leading Comes off. into this at Jordan bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The first baseman, Matt Adams. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ah. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. 
Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Swing, and he pops him up. And that's going to land foul. On, fellas, let's go. The 0-2 once more. Freezes hey. him. A strikeout looking. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Now to bat, Kelvin Gutierrez. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Fastball called for strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Yeah, we got one out here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. Fly ball out toward left center field. After it is Calhoun. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next to hit is Bobby Witt Jr. looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. In there, strike one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting nope. after this. There's one the knuckle out. curve laid off, one and one. One and two. I got to count. One and two. No yeah, runs, yeah. no hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail it here three to nothing. Yeah. Now at the plate, Jorge Mateo. He'll start Leading things off. out here in the Leading bottom of inning number seven. The designated hitter, Jorge. Mateo. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Hey. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Here comes Calhoun. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Next to dig in, Ramon now Urias struck pitch. out in his last trip to the plate. First delivery to him. This is on the ground over the first. And he'll step on first for the out three unassisted. Into the box, Cedric Mullins. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch of the AB now. On he pops it up. Moreto in foul ground. And no one will track it down. The windup and the 0 1. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Bogarts ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. Three up three down for the Orioles. Still down three nothing.
Heston Kerstad digging in now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now the first pitch. Base hit, and the perfect game comes to an end here in the eighth. Uh, so he makes it through seven innings, but they finally get to him for their first hit of the ball game here in inning number eight. Yeah, Matty D, and that just goes to show you how hard it is to pitch a no-no. Gets through 21 consecutive outs without getting up a hit, d roll, but that Good wasn't the case here to start off the eighth. Yeah, so much has to go into it. You need to be a little lucky, and you need to be a little good right there. Flip the script on the offensive standpoint. They've stayed with their approach, haven't come out of it, and hopefully this gets them jump started. Both Sox are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale, so if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball. You're going for the sweep, and you're leading by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. They might even change their nickname for this team to the Road Warriors. A sweep is looking pretty good as they're leading this one again late in the ballgame. Now that Number six. So here's Jeff McNeil. As the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. Here you go, boys. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Up next to Warriors. The first baseman. Standing in now, Matt, Matt Adams. Yep, Adam. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Very weakly on the ground. Kerstad on second. Rutschman at first, one gone. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Lifted the other way out to left center. Three, three, three. Hayes will range to his left cut, as he cut, tracks cut. this one oh, down oh, in oh. left center for the second out of the inning. Now in the box, Kelvin Gutierrez. And a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Gutierrez. Hey, we got two. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. All one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Two down runners at first and second. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. One and two now. And this is foul right side. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So here is Bobby Witt Jr. Leading He's off. hitless in his two at bats so far. Hey, that interesting story on Bobby Witt Jr. I had a chance to come up in the minor leagues when his dad was with the Texas Rangers. I was a hard thrower, Matt, 
Bobby Witt Jr.'s father, Bobby, might have been the hardest thrower I ever saw in the minor leagues. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep, and at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. Now that the designated hitter, Jorge. At the plate now, Jorge Mateo. And he puts it on the ground to second. He's got it. On to first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Now to the plate, here is Ramon Urias. He's their last shot here now with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. First pitch on the way. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Two down now, two down. Baltimore down to their final strike. Struck him out, and the Red Sox go on the road and sweep their division rivals in this three-game series. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game, so they were never really in a position to even challenge him. Rock-solid win and a memorable performance. A 7-0 shutout final today. Boston used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jay Mack.